today, YouTube, Jigsaw0097, bringing you another movie review. I went and saw an early screening of The Equalizer 2, and I'd like to make a movie review about it. This film is again starring Denzel Washington and directed by Anton Fuqua. He was the one that directed the original 2014 Equalizer, the first one, and this is the follow-up movie to the first one, The Equalizer 2. And first of all, guys, before we get into the review post-haste, I would like to remind you all to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Um, this is Jigsaw0097 here on the channel, and I do primarily Eagles and football-related stuff, but I do do a lot of movie reviews as well. And these are just kind of my logos that I'm showing off here in case you guys are wondering, you know, what, what my channel will look like from time to time. But with that said, let's get into the review. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm actually a huge fan of The Equalizer 1. I made a review of that movie um, on my channel. I'll actually put a card up right now if you want to go check that out before you watch this. And keep in mind, since this movie just barely came out, this will be a spoiler-free review. I'm just going to show these images on the screen instead of showing actual clips um, of the movie because I just kind of want to talk about the good and the bad of the film, and then probably when the Blu-ray comes out, I will make a further analysis video for you guys um, if you enjoyed this kind of video, but let's just get right into it. So to give you kind of a brief idea of what this movie's about, if you've seen the first one, is Robert McCall is now helping people with their problems in life. Whenever he sees injustice in the world, he decides to act, and he's becoming kind of like the protector of, I think he's in the Boston area again in this movie, but this movie kind of pans all over, different from the first equalizer this movie actually kind of jumps all over the place but he's primarily in Boston and he's actually an uber driver I think at Lyft is what the actual company's called that he works for he's no longer at the home mart that he was in the first movie he's now kind of just ubering people at night since he can't sleep and really great opportunity for him to see um, any crimes or anything like that that happens and this movie kind of follows the structure of, you know, he's helping people out, and then it does like a plot point, and then he's helping people out. It does a very good job of alternating back and forth without getting into too much detail on that. Um, the movie is actually very well paced. A lot of people that I've read the reviews on already have said it's, it's too slow and boring. Um, I actually completely disagree with that. This is kind of like a 90s style thriller movie where, you know, they don't give you everything at once and you kind of peel it back. This, the plot is fairly predictable. I mean, I, I kind of figured some stuff out before it happened, but the way that it's made and Anton Fuqua's amazing direction with Denzel Washington as the lead um, just really pays off here. I mean, this, this role was written perfectly for Denzel Washington. If you watched my original review of the first Equalizer, you kind of hear me go into that a little more, but I really just am buying his character as Robert McCall in these movies and I think it's just perfect casting and honestly these movies would probably go from like being what they are amazing to like average if you didn't have a talent such as Denzel and Anton Fuqua himself is a master at building scenes I think he's very good at um, character development without going too much into the details of the characters he he kinda knows how to world build effectively by just kind of introducing characters and then giving you little hints throughout the movie with big payoffs in the end and similar to the first equalizer with like the security guard and other characters in that movie there's a bunch of other characters now in this movie that have that same kind of payoff and it's absolutely fantastic and that's kind of the way like one of the ways I would describe this movie is it's kind of the little moments that count with this movie it's really more of a of a journey it's not meant to just get into the plot and, you know, get into like, oh, someone betrayed him or this or the government is corrupt or anything like that. It really just shows the day to day of McCall and what he's doing now that he's trying to make a difference in the world. And then some things happen in the movie. Um, I'm not going to get into spoilers here, but, you know, some circumstances arise where he has to go take action again. And so to get into the good stuff, what I liked, keep in mind, I, I liked almost everything about this movie, so this might be a fairly biased review, but I think that the story was actually fantastic for this type of world. Like I said, it can be predictable at times, and there's probably going to be a lot of people that will get bored with it or maybe not even like it at all. But for this kind of movie and what they're trying to do with this character, I think it just absolutely worked, and 
similar to the first movie, it kind of just started peeling back more layers of the Robert McCall character, giving you little by little. And if there is a third movie, they can even further explain that, because this movie doesn't even give you all the stuff. And what I mean by stuff is there's a lot of character plots and things that they hint at with Robert McCall that they don't further explain. They just kind of show scenes of stuff and you can kind of put it together in your mind. And this really just goes back to Denzel again as McCall. This is another huge plus for me is that he's absolutely brilliant, guys. This this role was made for him. This is probably my favorite Denzel role since Training Day. Um, the character he played in Training Day was, was pretty awesome. And, and I do kind of like him in Book of Eli, but this is just, just meant for him because I honestly feel like I don't feel like Denzel's out killing, you know, criminals, but I do feel like the positiveness of this character is really how Denzel would be in real life. You know, it's like a positive, tough love um, kind of mentor for people. And, you know, if, he, if he's got to be tough, he's got to be tough. But he, if he's got to be loving, you know, he'll be very loving. He's a, he's a very uh, relatable character in that sense. And then to get into another thing that I like, the action in this movie is absolutely brilliant. It actually one-ups the first movie in a couple scenes with the sheer brutality of it. And we don't really get a lot of R-rated action movies. If you guys watched my Jurassic World review, um, you kind of saw how I talked about they toned down the gore a little bit and it kind of bothered me. And this movie, you know, it just goes for what it is. It goes for that hard R rating. The, the violence is brutal, realistic, you know, earned, I think. It's not just... It's not just blood and gore on the screen for the sake of blood and gore. I think it's very earned and is very well thought out. And I don't know, similar to like John Wick, the action in this is just really fantastic to watch when it does happen. But unlike John Wick, this movie's not really the... The focus of the movie's not really action. It's more about the character of McCall and kind of his day-to-day -day and stuff like that with this overarching plot in the movie that, again, I don't want to spoil for you guys. And now if I have to get to some negatives, like if I must talk about a negative, I, I think the pacing of the movie can be a little off sometimes. Like I said, this movie jumps around a lot more than the first Equalizer. Sometimes it can be a little jarring, but I think just the way that the story is crafted overall, it kind of suits that style. And then also, I don't think there's enough villains, as weird as that sounds. The first movie had like the whole Russian mob pretty much after him, and this movie is much more contained and much more focused with the villains which is good and bad, you know? Like, it's good that the villain feels more personal this time, but it's also bad that there's not as many of them and you don't get to see as much action um, as you did in the first movie. There's no Home Depot scene, although at the end of the movie, there's a very similar action scene that I thought was equally as effective. So overall, guys, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I think it's an awesome sequel. Sequels are a very hard thing to do, especially nowadays. And they've never been something that have had much success. But I think that this is a fantastic follow-up to The Equalizer 1 for the bullet points that I've listed here. And I highly recommend that you guys go watch this, go support this movie, so that we can maybe get a third one. So that is my review for The Equalizer 2, guys. It gets my seal of approval. Like I said, highly recommended. Please go support this film. And if you have not seen the original, I also would say go watch that as well. And also... Once you finish watching that, go make sure to check out my, my further analysis slash review of the first film. But anyway, guys, what did you think about The Equalizer 2? If you have seen it, comment down below. And like I said, like and subscribe for more. Thanks, guys.